What's up you guys, it is your boy Tariq from Sir Kicks, and I'm just going to jump right into this video while I can. So, today we're going to be talking about freshman advice, those first few days of high school. Because once those first few days of high school go by, it's just going to be easy like that. It's just going to glide through the rest of the year. So, my first thing, the first pointer I have for you guys is if you're coming from a school where you don't know no one, you're just fresh, fresh out the womb, like you're coming to a school from some other school across town or out of another state or something or a city, just stick that first week of school, stick to yourself. It won't mind, it won't bother you to stick to yourself. It won't hurt you because people in high school don't like when you try to force yourself to be their friend. So that's another thing. Like, stick to yourself. And if you do know people, well, that's good for you because you're already coming in knowing people, knowing people from previous years and stuff. But if you don't, just stick to yourself. That's my first, first pointer. My second pointer is choose your groups wisely. Don't hang around the class clowns because in the future, that's going to hurt you and jeopardize your future. Because while you're not paying attention right now, later on, when it's time to come down to business, you're not going to know what to do because they're going to look back and be like, oh, yeah, you were the kid over there that was playing around with them. Oh, so now you need help. Well, that's too bad. So generally, it's like set your mind. It's your mind need to be set on like a good, not a good group, but like people who want to be some be somebody in life and people who want to do good in their future, be a business leader or a business owner or just a leader in general. So set yourself like with a group or like a group of kids that you know that's not gonna like bring you down with them who's gonna take you higher not lower because it's rather it's better to go low and high rather than short and low i don't know if i said that right but it was a little phrase my dad told me i don't know if i said it right but just stick with me through this video so what, what was i saying oh yes just like Stay to yourself, pick a group wisely. Another pointer is there's going to come times where people are going to look you up and down. Just try to see what you're about. I mean, don't back. I'm not saying get into a fight or anything, but don't back down from no challenge. Because after that, from that day on, they're going to think, oh, yeah, I can just mess with him. He ain't going to do nothing about it. So just, like, choose your battles wisely. So that's another thing. Like, and another key Another major key is to stay on top of your work. They're, in high school, they're not going to remind you that this essay is due Friday or this project is due Monday. They're going to give you those few key terms at the beginning of that work, like beginning of that, what can I say, of that like lesson. And after that, it's all up to you. If you don't want to turn your work in, that's fine. They're not going to do nothing but tally them zeros in that grade book and it's gonna hurt you once you get a zero or two in the grade book in high school it's gonna take a while for you to bring that back up so that's another thing stay on top of your work don't be no class clown don't fall behind because it's going to jeopardize your future another thing is pay attention when the teacher is up like talking to the class or you're doing a group work or anything pay attention that's go that's a major another major key that will help you. Just pay attention. I can't say that a lot because there's there's a few friends I have that did not pay attention and had to take summer school through throughout not summer school through half of the summer throughout the whole summer. So it's basically like they didn't have no summer and they had to make up for my friend. I ain't gonna say his name because I think he's subscribing. But my friend, if he's watching, oh well. It's his mistake. So he had to take summer school for the whole year because he wanted to be one of those class clowns, be on his phone all day. And my teacher, Mr. Watson, American World History 1, he was saying, I'm not going to pamper you. I'm not going to treat you how they did in middle school, tell you to do your work. If you're not going to do your work, then we might as well get the paperwork started for you to start summer school because I'm not going to be here up here telling, teaching a sermon or something teach you guys trying to help you guys further in the future while you're over here playing messing around with your phone and talking to people trying to get them off their work so he was like he was like yeah yeah whatever okay so now it came down to the time at the end of school everybody was walking out 
He had to stay in and get his peppers for summer school. People was laughing at him. He got mad. He tried to fight this one dude on the bus lot, but they was like, you can't be mad at us because we about to go to the concert next week while you going to have to be in summer school. So he was like, at the end, he was like, he told me, he was like, dang, bro, I should have been on top of my work so I can do stuff in the summer. And like I said, if I don't know if I said it again, there's going to come time where people try to try you. So just stand up for yourself. I'm not saying fight them or do anything to jeopardize your high school, your high school, like four years through high school, but just stand up for yourself. Another thing is teachers aren't going to baby you like middle school teachers and elementary school teachers. If you don't want to do it, they're not going to force you to do it. They're just going to let you sit there, take the zero, put it in a grade book. Like I said earlier, take the zero, put it in a grade book. And in high school, they don't give makeup work. So if you do something and mess up, it's a good chance for you to, it's a good thing for you to correct your mistake instead of not doing it and get that zero in the grade book. Because once you get a few zeros in the grade book, it's kind of hard. It's not like, oh, I get a few zeros in middle school. Uh, this test will bring them up. That's, it's going to take a few assignments. And like you have, in high school, you have freedom. They're not going to walk you to class. They're not going to pamper you like it's all up to yourself like freedom in high school they let you do your stuff on your own they don't walk you to the bathroom they don't take bathroom breaks like you walk yourself to your next class you walk yourself to lunch you make sure you make it before that four minute three minute bell or else you'll be going to get a lockout pass and them lockout pass tally up real quick so that's another thing i can't tell you guys more but oh uh, another thing is in high school, there tend to be a lot of substitutes. So there's some substitutes who chill, who let you just say, do your work, and then I'll give you the rest of the class, period. But ten, a lot of people tend to run over those teachers and make those teachers turn worse, those substitutes, because there's been a few times we have good substitutes who say, get your work done now, so the rest of the class period, you got you to do you and chill. But there's a lot of kids who be like, oh, I'm going to play now through the whole period of class. But when it's time to turn in at work, if you don't turn it in, she's going to put your, or they're going to say to the teacher, or rather they're going to say to the one of the administrators that you didn't do your work. So next time when a substitute come, the administrator or teacher not going to give you that freedom. They're going to send you to another class that teacher is there, that the teacher is there, and they're going to make you do extra work. So... Don't run over those substitutes who try to help you out and do good by you. But there is some of those substitutes who don't, like, allow none of that. It's just you sit there, do your work, don't talk, do nothing. Those are the teachers you tend, those are the substitutes that you tend to hate. But if you run over the good substitutes who let you have that freedom in the last 45, half an hour of the class, they're going to turn into the worst teachers that's not going to let you do nothing but do work and pile you up with work through the whole class. Because... There's been some substitutes who've given us about 10 sheets of work and we work through the whole class. She writes your name down on a referral if you talk, but there's been some of those substitutes who give you one assignment. When the teacher assigned three assignments, they give you that one assignment just to help you out. So that's another thing I can't stress about more is 10, if you have a good su substitute teacher, don't be no a-hole. Don't do nothing bad to jeopardize that. Because in the future, if you do good, she's going to come back and be like, oh, yeah, I remember that kid. He did his work. He had the last 45, half an hour. He's a good candidate for whatever you guys need. But then if you run over those teachers, those are going to still be them teachers be like, oh, no, nah, he ain't worth it. Send him on with the rest of them people that's not worth it. On to the next one. So that's another thing I can't stress about more is tend to, like, take care. Not take care, but respect substitutes. Respect substitutes. That's one of the things. Cause if you don't respect a substitute, it's worser than it's wor it's more worse than not respecting the teacher because she's gonna get the administrator involved and the administrator is gonna try to get you some days in ISS or some days out of school. So just tend to respect substitutes. And another thing is stay organized. If you just don't stay organized and be sloppy. You're going to tend to lose stuff. Stuff is going to tend to not show up. That's another thing I can't stress about. Stay organized. 
If you guys are organized, it, it won't be no problem. But you're unorganized, you need to get into the habit of staying organized. Keeping a nice book bag. So keeping folders to show where your stuff is at. But that's it for this video. Um, my phone is about to go dead. So, and I do not have my charger at the moment because it's broke. So that's it for this video. It has been your boy Sir Kicks. If you don't subscribe us, hit that big red subscription, subscribe button and hit it and subscribe it. Follow me on YouTube at underscore STX dot VVV underscore. Go follow my boy at Elijah Pemberton and his brother at JD Kicks underscore if I'm not sure. If you just put in JD, it should show Kicks and I think if it has underscore. But that's been your boy Sir Kicks. Appreciate it for watching.